Hello everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Skyrim uh, special edition Let's Play here. We're doing Seasoning, seasoning Unending. So, <clears throat> Arn Gear. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? But take your seat. You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually. Since we, we must the make them see the danger, Dragonborn. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudge. Okay, can I go ahead? Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. Okay, I gotta go this way, obviously. We know a great deal about the city and the threat that all... Can't go that way. You need us. Okay, we're... Who's extra in here? And so we meet again. But this time I know who and what you really are. I kill you. Let's do this. Okay. We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Yeah. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that Come that's on. settled... May we proceed? Yes, hopefully. I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be We're able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. 
I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what would out of the character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. How about Rift End on Cyrus? Rift End is kind of... Hmm. Take Dawnstar. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim's silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. There are advantages to gaining Dawnstar. Having another port would ease our supply situation considerably. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always. The Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pitiless agreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world. But this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. 
You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your so butchery at... Obvious. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. Damn Imperial arrogance. Let's hear it. We want Kralder removed as Jarl of Winterhold and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? I knew I could count on you. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial forces into the Pale, Skald the Elder will go into exile, and Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarlship. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. Winterhold will be turned over to the Empire, although the College itself will retain its traditional neutrality. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is okay. a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it's I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. He's a dragon. Not just any dragon, but the right hand of Aldrin, responsible for many atrocities during the ancient Dragon War. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards, and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. I anticipated the problem. While an un cross-referencing this, uh, don't, by calling the dragon with a voice, he's not compelled to. Your voice. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist invest. Ah, indeed. Odavin, winged snow hunter. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. Okay. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Pair trap for the dragon. Okay. I'll see y'all there. Alright. Uh, 
I'll see what he's got to say. May the gods watch over you. As I promised, my men stand ready. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. Yes, yes. I'm putting my city in your hands. Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. Okay. <laughs> Gotta remember how to do this. It's been a little while. Okay. You better know what you're doing. some unlocking while I'm sitting here. Steady now. Keep under cover until it's down. Done. It's just gonna land in here. We need to trap it, not kill it. That's it. Now wait until he's well inside. I'm gonna talk to him, I think. Push him. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. 
His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skuldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Krosis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. And you free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. I can't believe that. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. On you. Purely in the interests of the advancement Seems of like knowledge. Seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Can I open it up? What's new? Do need dine Rufi asked one? Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Stuck in there. Come on, buddy, get over here. There we go. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Once you've flown the skies of Kaizal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ, mu bo kotin stinselok. Too bad I can't like see him flying or be in the passenger seat, you know. Kind of like driving a car. Nope. This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Okay, we're gonna finish this on the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe for more videos. And I will catch you all on the next one. Alright, have a good rest of the day. Later.